Hey everybody, so this is gonna be a two-part video. Today I'm gonna to give you the first four steps to getting out of debt in order to buy your house. So if you wanna get out of debt, stop adding to your outstanding balances. You know, the one thing that I do is I keep one credit card in my wallet, leave the rest at home, and, and actually the one that you take will be the one with the lowest uh, credit line. That way you're, you're not likely to go on a wild spending spree, so leave all the high limit cards at home or cut them up and take the lowest balance or the lowest uh, credit limit card with you at all times. Here's number two, take an inventory of your current spending habits. If you haven't already done so, create a list of all the places that your money goes every month, including rent, credit cards, utilities, food, car payments, gas, groceries, medical, dental, all that stuff, and including Starbucks and anything else that actually can start adding up into the hundreds of dollars every single month. You know, AKA create a budget for yourself so you can understand where your money's going. You can start to trim down that budget every month. Once you get that budget done and you get all of your expenses in order, split that list in two separate lists. The first one includes items that you'll always have to pay for like rent and, and utilities and, and things like that. And then the second list includes things that you can pay off, like debt you can pay off. So uh, credit card bills, things like that. Um, split that list into two different groups. The first is going to be the largest account balances and the second is going to be the largest interest rates. Get that done. You're going to have a really good picture of what you're going to be able to spend in the months to come. Step three, eliminate the absolute biggest debts first using the snowball or the avalanche method. Now, let me explain. The snowball method will actually help you rapidly reduce the amount of debt that you owe. While the avalanche method um, will help you do the same, but with less interest in a shorter period of time. So first, make the payment for every bill. Then make an extra payment for one item on the top of that list. And after you've paid off that first item, take the money you were using to pay off or to pay it off, and now apply that to the second item on the list. And then knock off every number one item off the list each month until the balances are paid off in full. Here's step four, cutting the expenses and making the payment. If you're already in debt, how can you expect to pay anything extra to the bill that's on the top of your list? Well, it's actually like a well-crafted movie and you actually can do it with proper editing. So like if you spend hundred dollars a week on, let's say groceries, try to spend five or $10 less this week. And then that starts to add up, which is again the snowball effect. Um, you know, do you go to the movies? If you do, then take that and just go to Redbox, and then you're going to save some money there. Cut down to two weekends a month versus every weekend. Um, do you buy a latte every day from Starbucks? If you do cut that down to maybe two or one time a month or a week, and really watch that money show up. I mean, honestly, the, the 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 coffee in the morning and the breakfast in the morning, if you look at your budget and see how much you actually spend on four or five dollar coffee drinks or specialty drinks every day, it is absolutely astronomical how much that can add up over a couple weeks or a couple months time. So just start cutting back a little bit at a time and you'll start to see the savings add up and you start to apply that to your debt on the top first and start paying that stuff down. And in a matter of maybe five, six months, you'll be ready to buy a house. Okay, everybody, thanks again for watching my video blog on the eight steps to get out of debt and buy a home. Today was the first four, so look out for the next video, which will be the final four topics as it's a two-part series. And as always, if you like this video, feel free to email it, share it with your friends, post it on Facebook. If there's anything you're wondering about in the real estate industry, the market, how it's doing, if you have a question about your house, things that you can do to improve the value, things like that, Feel free to email me, call me. I'll be happy to shoot a video on it and we'll help other people out at the same time. So until next time, I'll see you.